So really quickly, I want to share a very useful and beneficial tip that you can use inside of your VBA code regarding protected workbooks and worksheets. We know that the structure of our spreadsheets are very important to the performance and functionality of our spreadsheet. This is why we discussed earlier in the course on how to protect Excel workbooks and Excel worksheets. But sometimes protected worksheets get in the way of our VBA code. For example, over here in our worksheet, if we come up to the review tab and select protect sheet and just leave password blank and click OK, now our sheet is protected. And if we open up our user form and try to add a new item, we get an error message saying the cell or chart that you are trying to change is on a protected sheet. So to prevent this error, we have to figure out inside of our VBA code to unprotect the sheet first, run our code, and then protect the sheet again. So let's go ahead and click end. And within our add button module, at the very beginning of this sub, we can type in active sheet dot unprotect. And this will unprotect the sheet, allowing our code to insert values within the spreadsheet. And then after our code is completed, at the very end of this sub, we can protect the sheet. And this time, instead of using active sheet, I'm going to refer to the actual sheet name. So I can type in sheets, open parentheses, open quotes, and then type in the sheet name that we want to protect, which is user forms, close quotes, close parentheses, dot protect. And we could add a password if we wanted to. But for now, if we go in and try to add a new item and click add, it adds our item. And if we get out of this, and then try to change one of the cells on the worksheet, the worksheet is now protected again. And one more thing that I found really useful when it comes to writing code that protects and unprotects worksheets is that inside of our VB editor, somewhere within these modules or at a new module, I create two sub procedures, one for unprotecting worksheets and one for protecting worksheets. And within those procedures, I write code that loops through all the worksheets in the workbook and it either unprotects the worksheets or protects the worksheets. And what this allows me to do is that anywhere I create a new sub procedure, for example, this add command button click, instead of writing the active sheet dot unprotect or sheets user forms dot protect, I can just call my unprotect procedure and then call my protect procedure. So that way I don't have to keep rewriting the code to unprotect and protect worksheets. And this is especially useful when you are protecting or unprotecting multiple worksheets. And just as a refresher to call another sub, all you have to do is type in call and then type in the sub's name. So if I named the sub unprotect, I could just write that. But currently, I don't have a sub called unprotect inside of this workbook. So that's how you can protect the structure of your worksheets in workbook by adding code to unprotect the worksheet at the beginning of your sub and then adding code at the end of your sub to protect the worksheet.